What's going on guys? This is another video. Uh, as you can see, I am no longer in a hotel, Cairo. I am on my way to Aswan now, from Cairo. This video is going to be a little interesting because I've always heard about the sleeper train or multiple ways of getting to Aswan or Luxor or getting around Egypt, whether it be a car, plane, private bus. But today's video is going to show you what you get for $120 on a super train in Egypt going from Cairo to Aswan. So, strap up, it's gonna be a long ride. So like I said at the beginning of the video, I said I'm heading to Aswan and I'm leaving from Cairo. And you have a couple different options. You can leave by plane, private car, bus, train, which is what I'm doing, or a boat. And I decided to take the train for content reasons. I've done this before, so this is not my first rodeo. I actually did this with Chanel, one of my good friends. She's not a YouTuber. You can find her link right here. But when we did this, we were very, very tired. It was actually a very long, stressful day, which I won't really get into. I wanted to express what it's like to capture a sleep train for $120. So that's actually a lot of money. And the last time I did it, it was a double cabin, which we, we paid $80. But this time is I paid $120 for myself. So I wanted to kind of see what was the difference. And what I can tell you now, I'm not impressed. Trying to get that red light to come on. Oh my god. So I think they want to flip my this bottom part into a bed and they're going to do it right now. And I apologize in advance if this is kind of like a weird type of setting. I know I'm kind of speaking right behind my bathroom sink, but as you can see, there's not much light in here. Um, it goes in and out every now and then, but for the most part, um, there's not a strong lighting for me to even talk. I've got like raccoon eyes probably in my shots. I want to talk about pricing right off the bat. When I first got to the station, the railway station in Cairo, um, I went to try and buy a sleeper train to Aswan. First they were telling me, oh no, it's like full or, or something. We, we can't help you. Come take a smaller one for $23 equivalents. And I'm like, no, I've been here around the same time. I want my ticket. And then like they, and on top of that, people started cutting me. I'm just like, whoa, you know, that's not gonna happen on my watch. For like 15 minutes, just hassling them, arguing between back and forth, telling me they don't have anything available. And unfortunately, and then ultimately they gave in and surprisingly there was something available. You know, I don't know why they're just taking my time and everything. Um, on top of that, if you pay with a visa, they're gonna charge you $2 extra, which is what I paid last time, but this time they charged me $3 extra, but sure, whatever. So the ticket to Aswan from Cairo, or even just like, not really the destination, uh, a, what I have is the single cabin, which is $120 off the bat. Double cabin, it is $80. And this is uh, what they call like a first class, or something like that. They, what I'm trying to say is uh, for $120, it's not very impressive. And I expected a lot more for $120 uh, out of my pocket. So let me just show you what my room looks like because I'm gonna be in here for the next eight hours. I can't even charge my phone in peace. Like, what's going on? Wow. <laughs> that red light is supposed to show that it's charging and it just doesn't work. This is my main source of light for this entire room. It is illuminating the entire room. Like this one just is nothing. It dies out. It's dim. This is the main source of light. You get your sink, 
That's, is the water running at least? Water's not even running. <laughs> is it? Okay, I guess that's something you can work with. It's better than nothing. Soap. Bring that out. Ernest. Beauty soap. Okay, cool. We're, I can work with this. Moving down, you have your trash can. Then you have your tray. And then you have your two seats right there. And then like this turns into a bed, which I'll show you in a second that they're gonna do. No, I'm not gonna do it. Not sure what this button does. Not sure what this does either. This has square, light, two lights. Nothing works. Here I'm gonna assume is the heater. I've already got it on the complete hot side but it's still been cold since I got here and this is for sound music I don't know I'll have it turned off completely right above my head is the luggage which the railway guys did it for me I personally don't like when people touch my stuff because they start asking for money or tips at, in the end but I did this myself it's very easy and on the top bunk bed, you get two pillows and this really old 1960s blanket with some crust over here. Like there's a really, yeah, right here, it's like crust and it feels like it was burnt or something, I don't know. Um, yeah, it's just definitely not worth $120. All right, food's getting cold, and it's been here since I got in, but I was just too busy trying to just get things together. But I'm gonna show you what the food looks like now. Okay, first off, I see this foil. Man, the amount of disrespect I am getting from this train is incredible. Look at this. It's like, it's been through a couple cities already. Like the foil is damn near peeling off. Oh my Lord. Let's see what's in here. It's anything like last time, I already know. It's probably rice, chicken, and potato wedges. This is the most driest chicken I've ever seen. What's in here? Some dry ass potato wedges. Oh my god. What is this, rice? Ugh. And it also comes with two breads, mystery sauce, and chocolate cake that I don't even like. If you want anything to drink like water or uh, pop, you would have to pay more. I think water is like 20 pounds, which you can really get for like five or 10 pounds on the street. But luckily for me, because I've, I know how this works, I already have my own water. Ooh. All right, I believe that's pretty much it for the night. The, the employee, he'll come back in the morning for breakfast and then he'll come back again uh, an hour before arrival to Aswan and that's completely it. So I'm going to get some sleep. It's pretty late. It's like 10 after. And I'll catch you guys in the morning. And uh, I'll see you then. Okay, and good morning, I think. I don't know. But in the morning, like I explained, the representative of the train he's gonna come in an hour before departure which is my destination was a swan he came in with some food and it was just like boiled eggs sausage wet potatoes and tea um, followed by one hour uh, layover of a swan and once you're out that's pretty much it I 
didn't take time to kind of film my transportation from the station to where I'm at now because the sun is pretty strong here and actually it's quite matching Elguna. But that's it. That's that's what you get. Um, I've even had some discussion on my TikTok about the fair versus a uh, Egyptian fair, and people don't even know that the railways are charging foreigners kind of four times the price of the of the original price for the locals. But yeah, I paid $120 for a single cabin, and that's what I got. Um, is it worth it? Absolutely not. Would I do it again? Absolutely not. I think the best alternative is just to fly. But if you want to take the train for content purposes, be my guest. I think that's what it's good for. Um, now that I've done it, I would never do that again. And that's a wrap. <laughs> With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the film. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm going to be in Aswan for just a couple days. Then I'm going to go to Marsa Marsalam. And then I'm going to go to Abu Simbel. So guys, subscribe, hit the notification, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.